What's up Jolly Jumpers? I've seen everywhere on the internet the question why are French girls and guys so thin? Well, easy. <laughs> We're not. Don't believe me! Look at her! <clears throat> okay, that might have not been the best example. She's freaking perfect. But, uh... Yeah, we're not that thin. No, I'm kidding. We actually are. But you know, we're French, so we're modest people. If I were to be like, yeah, yeah, I know we are, everyone would dislike me. So I'm just saying that we're not. But really, we are. But the good thing is that there are reasons. Which means that if you are watching this video and applying all the steps, maybe one day you will become really French. <clears throat> I mean, Fiend. Which is pretty much the same thing, because you know, we're Fiend people. <laughs> so why are French people so Fiend? Or maybe why are French girls so Fiend? I'm still not sure, you know, everything for the views. <clears throat> I hope you'll enjoy! Number one, culture, culture, culture. Everything for the cul. Yeah, I had to make it in French because in English that doesn't really work, you know. <laughs> yeah, number one, culture, culture, culture. Everything for the cul. Eh? And I don't even know why I said number one because it's pretty much all about culture. So, yeah, the video is done. <laughs> See ya! No, so the first cultural point is the fact that we love home cooking. We cook a lot. We cook for ourselves, we cook for our friends when we have some, so I don't. We cook for our family when we have some, so I do. We cook for our boyfriend, girlfriend when we have some, no, one, one when we have one, so you don't. Anyway, what I meant by that is that we do cook a lot and by cooking, we usually cook vegetables and fruits. Well, we don't really cook fruits. Well, we cook some fruits, not all of them. You know, we cook the fruits that you can cook because some you can't really cook them. But my point is, our diet is mostly composed of fresh vegetables and fresh fruits, which are cheap. And that's healthier than going to McDonald's every single day. And following that, yes, we do eat more fresh vegetables and fresh fruits, but also, culturally speaking, while having lunch, we drink water. Even tap water. And well, not saying that it's better to drink tap water than to drink sodas. Because Obviously, it's not. I mean... Taste-wise. But... A little bit? And that's actually the truth. <clears throat> well, not saying that the other things that I said are not the truth, because everything that I'm saying is the truth. I mean, the great cucumber is speaking through me. But what I meant is that, culturally speaking, we French people don't drink fizzy drinks at lunch. We sometimes order a fizzy drink at the really beginning of the, of the lunch, during appetizers, but when we have the lunch, it's always either tap water, because it's free and we're cheap people, or sparkling slash regular water. But you know, in the bottle, you have to pay for it, so... Most of us still go with the tap water. Okay, the second cultural point are the portions. It's not really a cultural point, I mean, it's not really a... It's my video! I'm doing whatever I want! So, the portion sizes. We have smaller portion sizes. And following that, when we are speaking about a great restaurant, we are speaking about a great restaurant. That might sound stupid, but every single time I went to the US, to Canada, to Australia, to pretty much every single English-speaking country... I love you guys! But every single time I asked for a great restaurant, people were giving me the restaurants where you can eat the most 
for the cheapest. You guys are cheap people too! Yes, go for the tap water in France! But seriously, that's something every single person that I met through my trips. And okay, all my trips were during university, so we're all cheap people. But that aside! And I'm starting to realize that putting this point aside is maybe just not validating my point. But anyway, it's my video, I said it. So every single person that I met was saying, yeah, let's go to a great restaurant! And it was disgusting! But a lot of food and uh, cheap. For us, on the other hand, going to a great restaurant means that you'll have a triple win. Yeah, I was trying to make a W, you know, for the win. Victory, but that's a double, so yeah. Number one, mind-blowing flavors. Number two, mind-blowing flavors that are so mind-blowing that you only need a really tiny portion. Meaning that you will not gain weight. And number three, you will not only not gain weight from this super tiny portion, but you will lose weight from your wallet because it's so freaking expensive. And as an architect, I feel the urge to quote Miss Vandero, less is more. In France, you eat less, you pay more. Number three, we drink less alcohol. No, that's true. What? I know. I mean, we're still the first users, drinkers, I don't know, of wine. But it's different, you know. Wine is not alcohol, it's the blood of a great cucumber. But that's it! We're not even in the top 20 countries of beer drinkers. And I don't know about the other alcohols because I didn't find uh, any stats. But I know that the few friends that I have in France are not as always wasted as the friends that I have in other countries. That's probably worth something as a statistic, right? Number four, we walk more. And it's not because we like it more, although we do love frolicking around parks and yeah, no. And it's not because we love sports more, <laughs> No, it's just that we have to. In the US, for example, most of the cities are really wide, so you need to use public transport or, most of the time, the car. In France, everything is packed, everything is jammed when you use your car. It freaking fucking <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you see, we... When we can avoid using the car, we do. And not only it's actually painful to use the car within the cities, but also most of the parkings are just not convenient, so even when you do park your car, you will have to walk after that. When you take public transport, so you will still have to walk after that, because despite the fact that public transports are pretty nice in France, they are actually pretty nice only in Paris and in a few other cities that you don't know because they are not Paris. What? Yeah, I know. There are other cities. Number five, and that's my only point that is not cultural. I will return to culture after that. Science. Genetics. Basically, we're not made the same way. And I don't have much more to say that but you know you can't fight with nature Germans are tall blonde blue eyes Africans have big di <clears throat> muscles muscles what Japanese are short sharp and us French are uh... you can't fight with that so next time you see a French girl and think maybe she's born with it or maybe it's Maybelline <laughs> she is born with it so you can't fight against that Sorry. And so we're to my final point, and I had no idea how many points would be in this video, which is why I didn't say the antepenultimate or the penultimate, and so that's why I'm saying right now antepenultimate, penultimate, antepenultimate, penultimate, antepenultimate, penultimate, antepenultimate, penultimate, and so my final point is a fucking nasty one, as it's nothing but... <laughs> Societal pressure. Yeah. Vive la vie! Vive la France! Vive la République!
in France, obesity is really not well perceived. Which means that most people fight to never become obese uh, to the point that we do have a lot of eating disorders. A lot of us, myself included, just don't feel right not being as thin as we dream of being. And yeah, that just means that we look it a certain way that to feel good we have to be thin. And uh, this is pretty much the end of the video. I know the last point was not fun, but guess what? Life's not fun. Life is rough. Life is tough. Life is... <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm kidding! Life is nothing but amazing! Be strong! Be happy! Be French! And I don't know why... <laughs> uh, I'm going to stick with my usual ending. Putain! And this is the end of As Usual, I don't know how I will name the video. I hope you liked it, if you did, don't forget to put a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to my channel, go follow me on all my social medias for... Pictures of Freya? You can also support me on Patreon because, thanks to that, I will eat her. Eh? No, I will not eat her. I said I will buy some food to eat for her. And no matter what happens, I will see you in my next video. Have an amazing, wonderful day. Don't forget to smile and bye-bye. Be free! <coughs> <coughs> yeah, no, really, I think I'm going to stick with the pizza.